Hello and welcome to another in a series of short Pilates classes in association with We Connect, a FEDEM charity foundation project. My name is Bryn, I'm an osteopath and Pilates instructor and I'm going to guide you through the next 20 to 30 minutes. You're going to need a mat and two cushions, okay, before we get started. Um, and then from there, come and lie down onto your back. So just come and find a nice comfortable space, a nice comfortable position. Have the head cushion underneath your head. Just try and feel that it's not too far underneath your neck. So you have a small space between the neck and the mat. This just allows gravity to do its job and just lengthen and release the back of the neck. Then from there, bring your attention down to your feet. Have your feet together, knees slightly open, okay? And once you've got that position, what I want for you to do is just open your feet very slightly. In this position, just try and feel your feet nice and heavy and flat on the floor. And then from here, bring your attention up into your pelvis. Okay, just feel the base of your pelvis, your bottom. Okay, try and just be aware of what part of your body is in contact with the floor. And then just try and relax a little bit more into the floor. Okay, and then you should notice in your lower back, maybe there's a small space, maybe there's not. Okay, just try and be aware of what parts of your body are in contact with the floor. And then bring your attention up onto your ribs. Just allow your rib cage just to nicely drop into the mat. Go nice and heavy, okay? Shoulders, chest open. Bring your hands just up onto your ribs, okay? So we're just gonna start today with just a nice little bit of gentle breathing, okay? And all I want for you to do is just breathe in through your nose and breathe out through your mouth. Okay, and we just start going through the process of just focusing on the rise and the fall of your ribs as you breathe in. And then the emptying of the lungs, the ribs dropping down as you breathe out. And just breathing in nice and slowly, nice and controlled. And then just slowly breathe out. Try not to over breathe. Try not to think about where the breath is going into your belly, into the back and the side of your ribs. Just try and find your natural, normal state of breathing. So just focus on the breath. And as you're focusing on the breath, it's a really nice exercise here just to try and diffuse any thoughts that you have coming into your head. So any conversations that you've been drawn into, just try and come out of those conversations. Just bring your attention down into your breath. Try not to attach to any thoughts that might be going on in your mind. Again, come back down to your breath. That's it. And as you breathe out and as we progress into the breathing part of the exercise. Just try and give yourself permission and allow your body just to relax a little bit further into the mat. You might need to shuffle and move around. That's perfectly acceptable, perfectly fine. Good, as gravity takes its uh, toll on the body, your spine will lengthen a little bit. So moving is inevitable. Good. And four more breaths. Again, just try and feel that you don't attach to any thoughts that come into your head. Just let them pass through your mind. Don't get drawn into any conversations. Just focus on the rise and the fall of your breath, of your ribs. And two more breaths. Good, lovely. And last one. Take a nice breath in. Good. And breathing out. Good, from there, bring your arms down by your side. Bring your attention down to your feet, your pelvis, and your ribs. We're just gonna go for an exercise now called spine curls. So all I want for you to do is just take a breath in. As you breathe out, lift your bottom up off the floor. Come to the top, okay? Then from here, we take a breath in. As you breathe out from the base of your neck, then just roll your spine down into the mat, okay? Lovely, and come back into your natural, normal starting position. Take a breath in. As you breathe out, lift your hips up, lift your bottom up. Get to the top, take a breath in. As you breathe out, nice and slowly, just roll your spine down. Think about laying a chain down onto the mat or a pearl necklace. Okay, and you're just trying to lay that down link by link or pearl by pearl. And again, as you breathe out, press the feet into the floor, lift your bottom up, get to the top, 
Squeeze your buttocks, take a breath in. As you breathe out, bring the focus of attention up to your neck and then roll your spine gently, nicely and controlled down into the mat. And again, breath in. As you breathe out, lift the bottom up, press the feet into the floor, get to the top, pause. Breath in. As you breathe out, slowly, nicely, calmly, relaxed, roll the spine, coming down just into your natural, normal resting position. Good, and a couple more. Take a breath in. And breathing out, lift the bottom up, press the feet into the floor, come up to the top, take a breath in. As you breathe out from the base of that neck, roll your spine nicely, controlled, into the mat. Think of imprinting your spine as you come down. And last one, breath in there. Breathing out, lifting up, go up, pause. Good, breath in. As you breathe out, slowly, rolling the spine down. Good, coming all the way down into your natural normal position. Take hold of your cushion. Cushion goes underneath your bottom. Okay, don't have it too high up so it's not underneath your lower back. Again, similar to the head cushion for the head. We're just trying to let gravity uh, do its work and allow the spine to drop nicely into the mat. So we can just work a little bit of a higher intensity without necessarily loading the spine too much. Fold your legs up into your chest. Feet are together, knees are open. Shins parallel to the floor. Then take your hands, interlock your fingers, hands clasped together behind the back of your head. And then from here, nice and slowly, just take a breath in. As you breathe out, lift the head up, straighten the right leg, yeah, and push through the heel. Pause, breathing in, leg comes in, head goes down. And from there, breathing out, head up, extend the left leg away, go up, pause. Good, leg comes in, head goes down. And again, nice and slowly, breathing out, head goes up. Straighten the right leg, go up, pause. Breathing in, leg comes in, head goes down. Breathing out, head up, leg away, push through the heels, pause. Good, leg in, head down. The higher your leg goes, the easier. Breathing out, head up, so I can take my leg up here if I don't want to make it too hard. And you don't need to fully straighten the leg, you can do it with slightly bent knees. Again, just reducing the load on the tummy. Breathing out, curl up, extend the left leg away, push through the heel, go up, pause. Lovely, leg comes in, head goes down. Let's try four more. Breathing out, head comes up, push through the heel, go up, pause. Good, leg comes in, head goes down. Three more. Breathing out, go up, pause. Breath in, leg comes in, head goes down. Two more, breathing out and up, push through that heel, pause, leg in, head down. Last one, breathing out, head comes up, leg goes away, pause, leg comes in, head comes down, take the hands from behind your head, bring your knees, hands up onto your knees and bring your knees into your chest. Well done, good. Take the knees slightly out towards your shoulders. Good. And then come back to the start position, feet together, knees open, shins parallel to the floor, fingers interlocked, hands clasped together behind your head. From here, you're going to take a breath in. As you breathe out, we curl up and over to the right leg, straighten the left leg. Pause. Leg comes in, head goes down. So similar to the last one, but we just come up and over. Breathing out, so you go up and over to the left leg, straighten the right leg. Good, leg in, head down. Try not to move too quickly. Yeah, breathing out, so you come up in a nice, slow, progressive manner. Yeah, you don't come up too fast, try and feel you're not wobbling around too much. Leg comes in, head goes down. And again, breathing out. Go over, pause. Breathing in, slowly coming back. Breathing out and over to the right. Push out through that left heel, pause. Leg in, head down. Good. Breathing out and over, pause. Good. Leg in, head down. 
and four more. Breathing out, curl over, push the leg away, push through the heel, pause. Leg comes in, head goes down, three more. Breathing out and over, pause. Good, leg in, head down. Two more. Breathing out, go over, pause. Leg comes in, head goes down. And last one, breathing out, go over, hold. Come in, head down, take the hands from behind the head. Come up onto the knees, pull the knees into the chest. And again, just stretch, pull the knees out towards the shoulders. Lovely, and then come back. Feet together, knees open, shins parallel to the floor, fingers back behind the head, last one. From here, you're gonna breathe out, chin to chest, curl up, straighten both legs. Pause, legs come in, head goes down. Again, the higher the legs, the easier. And again, you do not need to bend your, straighten your legs fully. So breathing out, come up, I can go up into this position, or I can just hold my legs into this position. Legs in, head down. Conversely, if you want to make it harder, curl up, take your legs lower. Go up, pause. Good, legs come in, head goes down. Breathing out, head up, legs away. Go up, pause, just feel we get a nice tension through the abdominals. Good, legs come in, head goes down. And four more. Breathing out, head up. Legs away, go up, pause. Legs in, head down. Three more. Breathing out and up, pause. Good. Legs in, head down. Good. Two more. Breathing out, go up, pause. Legs in, head down. Good, last one. Breathing out, head up, legs away. Hold it here with your upper body, pulse 20. Remember, you can bend your knees or take them higher if you want to make it easier. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Come on down, hug your knees into your chest, out towards the knee, shoulders even, and then slowly bring the legs back down onto the floor. From here, you're going to come and lie onto your side. Okay, and in this position, take your head cushions or your cushions from the sofa, have them between the head and the arm. Bend your legs back behind you, okay? So you want your feet in line with your sitting bones and your sacrum, your lower back. This arm is straight, so its arm is in line with your spine. Bring this hand down in front of you, nice and relaxed. So in this position, keeping the feet together, just take a breath in. As you breathe out, lift the knee up. Good, pause. Breathing in, slowly coming down. And again, breathing out, lift the knee up, pause. Good, slowly down. Breathing out and up. Again, just keep the feet together, heels together, and just trying to feel as you are going up and down with the leg, okay? Breathing out, I lift up. You're just trying to feel that you're not rolling back through the pelvis, okay? So we're just trying to use, open the knee, Okay, without the pelvis rolling around. It will be maybe a little bit, don't worry too much, but just try and be aware that you're not rolling and lifting, that's all. Four more, breathing out, go up, pause. Breathing in, slowly in. Three more, breathing out, try and feel as well. Don't press into the floor with this hand too much. Just keep everything nice and relaxed, nice and light through your body. Two more, breathing out, go up, pause. Slowly down. One more. Breathing out, go up, hold, and just pulse 20 there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Nice and controlled, nice and slowly. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 
18, 19, 20. Come down, bring the top leg forward, straighten the bottom leg down, bring the arm that you're lying on forward, and then bring the other hand on top of it. So in this position, you're looking at shoulder over shoulder, pelvis over pelvis. From there, breathing in, take the arm up to the ceiling, and then as you breathe out, let the arm fall back behind you. You just come into this position and hold, and with this bottom arm, stretch it away. So you imagine you've got uh, a piece of rope in your hands and you're trying to pull each end of that rope. So stretch your arms away from each other. Good. Then from here, bend this top leg, bring the hand down onto the thigh, and then just pull the knee down onto the floor if it's lifted. And we just stretch a little bit more through the outside of the buttock into the lower back. And slowly come back up and let's go on to the other side. Okay, so let's go through the setup first. Before we do the exercise, just try and get ourselves in a reasonably organized position. So head cushion is between the head and the arm. Okay, the arm here is straight up in line with the spine. Okay, take your legs back behind you so your feet is in line with your sitting bones, your sacrum, okay, in line with your spine. This hand is nicely down in front of you. I'm just trying to feel that we don't push into the floor too much, too much, too much with this hand. And then from there, nice and slowly, take a breath in to prepare. As you breathe out, I lift my knee up, but I keep the heels together. Good, pause. Slowly coming down, breathing in. And breathing out, go up, pause. Good, breathing in, slowly coming down. And again, breathing out, go up. Heels together, lift the knee up. Remember, we're just trying to feel with the pelvis that as we lift the knee up, we try and stop the pelvis rolling back too much. Breathing out, we be aware as we lift up that we're not rolling back from the pelvis. That just brings the line of force, brings this muscle into play uh, a little bit more um, efficiently. And again, breathing out, knee goes up, pause. Breath in slowly down, and four more guys, well done. Breathing out, let's go up, pause, stop at the top, absorb that load. Good, breathing in, slowly coming down. And again, breathing out, go up, pause. Good, breath in, slowly down. And two more, breathe out, go up, just check the heels, check the pelvis, not rolling back, check the pressure in this hand. You just keep body scanning yourself. Last one. Go up, hold. Nice controlled, nice slow pulse for 20. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 19, 20. Well done, come down. Bring this top leg forward, straighten it, then straighten the bottom leg. Bring the underneath arm forward, the top hand comes on top. Hand on hand, shoulder on shoulder, pelvis on pelvis. Then from here, nice and slowly breathing in, take the arm up. As you breathe out, let the arm drop down. Imagine you have that rope between two hands and you're gonna pull the hands or pull the rope apart or pull the hands apart. And then hold. Good. And then from here, bend this top leg, bring the hand down onto the thigh, and just gently draw the knee down in towards the floor, further stretching through the buttock and through the lower back. And slowly come back from there. <clears throat> You're gonna come and lie down onto your tummy from here, forehead is onto the cushion, so just make sure whatever you're using is you have a small space for your nose, okay, between the, the, um, the cushions and the mats. From here, just have your arms into what we call the surrender position. <clears throat> Legs are open, okay? So you're just trying to feel before you start your pelvic bones here and your pubic bone and nicely down and grounded onto your mat or floor. 
Then take a breath in. As you breathe out, lift the head up, lift the legs up. Good, go up. Keep the chin towards the chest so my crown of my head lengthens away. I pause, breathing in slowly, come back down. And again, breathing out, lift the head and legs up. And you try and lift up in a nice, slow, progressive manner. Go up, pause. Breathing in, slowly down. Good. Breathing out, go up. Pause. Good. And slowly going down. Breathing out, go up. Head and legs go up, pause. Good. Slowly going down. Good. And again, nice and slowly. Breathing out, going up. Pause. Again, keep the chin towards your chest. Go up, lovely. And slowly down. Good. Four more, guys. Breathing out. Lift the head and legs up together. Good. Just try and feel when you're up there. Don't push into your hands too much. Be kind of nice and light through the hands, forearms and elbows. Three more. Breathing out. Lift head and legs up. Go up. Pause. Squeeze your bottom at the top. Slowly come on down. Two more. Breathing out. Head up. Legs up. Go up. Pause. Good. Breathing in and down. Lovely. And one more. Breathing out. Go up. And we just hold it there for ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Slowly come down. Come up onto your hands and knees. Onto all fours. Open the knees. Sit back onto your heels, rest your head forward. So from here, curl yourself up, head and shoulders last to come up. Okay. From there, you're going to come and sit down onto your right buttock. Okay, if this position is uncomfortable for you, just come and sit down into this position with the feet out in front of you. Okay. From here, just take hold of your shins with your left hand, your left shin with your left hand. Take the right arm up into the air. Okay, and we're just going to lengthen up. So you're just trying to draw the shoulder away from your ribs, your ribs away from your pelvis. And again, breathe just nicely. When you get into these positions, try not to overstretch. Try not to try too hard. Okay, just go and find a mild stretch and then work on breathing and just trying to relax into it. Good. And two more. Good. And one more. And relax. Come out onto the other side. So taking hold of your right shins with your right hand. Lift the left arm up into the air. Again, lifting the shoulder away from the ribs, the ribs away from the pelvis. The pelvis stays nicely dropped down. So the weight is on my left buttock. And again, I'm not trying to overstretch, overreach, I just go up into the position. And then from there, just focus on just trying to breathe in a nice, relaxed, calm manner. Good. Good. And slowly come down onto all fours. <clears throat> from here, lift your bottom up. So we're going to downward facing dog. Throw in a bit of yoga into the Pilates class. Great exercise, great stretch. Okay, and all you're just trying to do is push your weight back onto your feet. Okay, so your heels will be slightly off, but you want to push the heels down. So you just increase the stretch sensation through the back of the legs. And then from there, bend one leg. So I bend my right leg, the weight goes more into my left foot increasing the stretch sensation through the back of the left calf. And again, just breathe when you get into these positions. And 
and change. And if you feel yourself get distracted, pulled into conversations or have any unwanted thoughts in your mind, try sighing. Take one big deep breath in. And then just let it out. And then bring the focus of attention back down to your calf, into your breathing, and carry on. And then both legs, push back. Good, again, increase that stretch sensation. From here, bend the knees, drop down onto your knees. <coughs> From there, take your left foot forward. Okay, drop the right knee, or think of pushing the right knee into the floor. Push your pelvis forward, take the arms up, take hold of your left right wrist with your left hand, and stretch over to the left. And again, find these nice mild stretches, and then go back to your breathing, go back to relaxing. Again, try not to force any stretches. Try not to push into them too hard or try too hard. Good. And from there, come back up onto the other side. So right foot goes forward, push the pelvis forward, take the arms up into the air, take hold of the left wrist with the right hand, drop the left knee down into the floor, push your pelvis forward, come in, find that mild stretch into the left side of your hip, left side of your waist, and then breathe into the back and the side of your ribs. Good. And then relax there. Open your knees. <coughs> Sit back onto your heels. Take the arms forward. Drop your head down. So just come into a nice comfortable position here. Elbows, forearms, wrists on the floor. And then again, just one for you to focus on your breathing. So just breathing in through your nose. Breathing out through your mouth. And again, just be focusing on the rise and the fall of the breath. Just be aware of which parts of your body are expanding as you breathe in. And which parts of your body are dropping down, releasing as you breathe out. Good. And four more breaths. Good, and out. Three more, just breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. Again, just try and allow any unwanted thoughts or conversations that enter your mind. Just pass on through, thank them, bring your attention down to your breath. Good, and one more. Good. And relax, curl yourself up, head and shoulders last to come up. Take the arms up into the air, stretch up, reach up, lengthen up. Again, come into this top position, take a nice breath in, try not to over breathe. And breathe out, just keep your breathing nice and relaxed. Again, just try not to over breathe, try not to under breathe. Try not to focus on where the breath is going, bellies, back in the side of the ribs, chakras. Whatever you've been told about breathing, just breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. Slowly arms come down. Bring the hands forwards. Come back up into that downward facing dog. <coughs> come into the position. And again, just nice breath in. Just try and feel that you keep your mind empty of any thoughts, conversations. Good, and nice and slowly bring your hands in towards your feet. Bend your legs if you need to, absolutely fine. Head is nice and relaxed. From there, slowly curl yourself up. Head and shoulders last to come up. Float the arms up into the air. Interlock the fingers. Stretch up, reach up, lengthen up. Good. From here, nice and slowly, breathing in, let the arms come down. Good, then as you breathe out, chin comes onto your chest. Rolling forward, arms heavy, head heavy. Good, going all the way down. 
and breathing out, tailbone round, slowly come on up. Good. Breathing in, float the arms up. Again, stretch up, reach up, lengthen up, and then don't focus too much about whether you're breathing in or breathing out when you get here. Just breathe normally. Just try and breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. Just get into a position and then just try and relax in that position. And then from here, just let the arms come down. Take a breath in as they come down. Then as you breathe out, chin to chest, roll down. Arms heavy, head heavy, weight forward. Give your hands behind the back of your calves if you want. You can just help take yourself down a little bit further. Increase the stretch sensation through the back of the body. Breath in. As you breathe out, slowly come on up. Good. And then from here, just let the weight drop down into your feet. Knees soft. And then just close your eyes. And then all I want for you again, just to finish with, is just focusing on your breathing. Breathing in through your nose, out through your mouth. Good. And as you're breathing, just again try and stop or allow any unwanted thoughts or conversations to pass through your mind. Try not to attach any energy to them. It's, and a couple more. Good, one nice big breath in. Take a nice big deep breath in. Really allow the oxygen to nourish your body. And then breathing out. Good. And relax. Well done, guys. Thank you very much for joining us. As always, if you have any feedback, queries, uh, please do get in touch and we will endeavor to answer them. Um, please come and join us again. As you will have seen on the website, there's uh, many more videos. There's no uh, particular order, um, so you can either go through them uh, as you wish, or if you find one that you enjoy particularly, just stay with that one. Um, thank you very much, and we'll see you again very soon. Bye now.